Hey guys, this is Random Kiwi from Rails to Revolution. Um, today I'm giving you a Mac tutorial, and I'm telling you how you can change your folders or any icon on your computer to look like any icon you want. And uh, this is useful because, for instance, this is a folder. This is actually my hard drive, and this is actually my Time Machine backup hard drive. And this here is actually chess. And basically what this can do is make any folder look like whatever you want it to look like. Okay, so we'll start by making a new folder and we'll call it test. Good. Now say we want test here to look like um, this elephant for example. What we want to do is get the icon you want it to look like, right click it, press get info, And once it pops up, you can close that, and you've got this elephant here. Now what you want to do is get the folder you want it to change into, and also press Get Info. Okay, here we go. As you can see, this is an elephant, and this is a folder. We want it, and this is a smaller folder, and this is a smaller elephant. What we want to do is grab the big elephant, and drag it into, whoops, <laughs> failed by me drag it into the small folder and it will have an up sign and now the folder is an elephant it's still a folder and will still open normally but it looks like an elephant okay now say you want it to look like something I don't know something that's not just on your MacBook and applications for instance I got this from the internet um, yeah okay what we want to do create a new folder and call it test2 okay so say we want to get something from the internet, let's go to Google Images, I've already got it open. Now say I want it to look like this square. What we want to do, simply right click it, copy image, scroll back here, right click it, get info, and now you click the small folder until it glows blue like this. Then we press Command V, or you paste. And as you can see, um, it now looks like that picture from Google Images. The only thing is there's white background. Now that can be a problem to most people, so and then make another test folder. Test three. Now what we want to do is go to that picture and we have to save it from the internet. So save image as. And then we'll just save it in say our downloads. Just call it ES. And should have saved. Yep, it's saved. Okay. Now what we want to do is open ES with preview. Should open like that by default unless you've changed it. Now all we need is preview. We don't need some big editing tool. Okay, so it's opening now. Okay. So what we want to do is, first of all, as you can see, most images should save as a JPG. The thing is, um, JPGs can't handle transparency. So what you want to do is, with the rectangular selection, select a small area, and just press delete. And then it'll say this. So basically you have to duplicate another image and save it as a PNG. And you can get rid of the old JPG. Okay. So now what we want to do is go to Instant Alpha. Now I'm assuming that the part you want to get rid of is white or black or some background color. What we want to do is um, just click and drag that background color until you see all the background color disappear. And it will highlight it all for you. Now you just press Delete. Good. Now just go to Rectangular Selection. Select the remaining shape and press command C or copy it. Now oh, okay it's gonna ask me some stuff. Well either way we gotta get oh, okay don't worry about this cancel. Either way we gotta get info after you've copied this then we click on this until it glows again and we press command V or paste. And basically now it looks exactly the same as this one but it's transparent in the background and looks a bit more normal. 
Okay, so yeah, that's my tutorial. Um, feel free to subscribe, um, like this video if you thought it helped. And yeah, also we've got a new Facebook group open. If you want to be part of our events or in our videos basically, you can feel free to join it. And also we've got some new Twitter stuff, so feel free to check that out. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.